My name is Cody Siciliano. I'm an assistant professor in the uh, Department of Pharmacology and a member of the Vanderbilt Center for Addiction Research. So we try to understand how uh, the brain mediates maladaptive decision making, um, and we mostly look at that in the context of uh, addiction. So we try to understand um, what is it about certain individuals that predisposes them uh, to develop um, addiction. So one of the things that's always fascinated me about this is that you know, almost everybody in their life is gonna at some point be exposed to alcohol or potentially an illicit substance as well. Some people will even use them their whole life, especially in the case of alcohol, uh, but only a relatively small subset will go on to develop um, pathological um, addiction-like behaviors. And so we try to understand what in the brain is different between um, those people and then how it interacts with the drugs to ultimately to produce these phenotypes. Yeah, so I'm, uh, you know, the ability to do um, science for the sake of science um, and have the funding to uh, pursue basic science questions is really critical, not only for understanding the brain, but ultimately for understanding and treating disorders. So a lot of the biggest advances that have come in the field, uh, you know, have not been really targeted questions that were going after something specific to a disease, but people just um, exploring what they were interested in and ultimately uh, that led them to really great discoveries. So, um, you know, it's critical both for understanding and for treatment and, uh, you know, it's critical that we have the funds to be able to pursue these uh, kind of questions because ultimately they do pay off. My advice for any tra trainees at any level, um, or honestly faculty as well, is, is to just, uh, you know, find an environment that you're comfortable um, working in. I think that's more important than anything. I think a lot of people you know, look at the resources and things like that and what they can do, and, and obviously that helps as well. But if, uh, if you're not in a um, environment that you enjoy doing the science, it's just not gonna go very well. So I think, especially for trainees, you need to uh, look for a mentor that you can um, work together uh, really well. Um, and ultimately, the, the questions that you're asking, um, you know, any, any scientific endeavor becomes interesting once you get into the questions. So I think really you wanna look for the environment that you're most comfortable working in. Yeah, so one, one thing I try to do is to really uh, not just look at what people have done, but look at uh, where they did it um, in terms of uh, what opportunities they had. So I think a lot of times uh, people, um, you know, doesn't take anything away from what they have done, but some people have a lot more opportunity than others. So I really try to look at what's the, the slope of someone's trajectory, not necessarily where they are um, at the time that I'm interviewing them. Uh, you know, how fast did they learn? Did, were, did they outperform the people uh, around them, even if that means they may have accomplished less than some people at bigger institutions or things like that. So I really try to look at, um, you know, what they did uh, in, in relation to where they were and, and what opportunities they had.